Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah we constantly recite in the Quran every day all of us do this as long as we're praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we say ihdina sirat mustaqim guide us to the straight path Okay, so we are imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is uh, from the ways of dua. This is a dua. This is a supplication to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for guidance, for hidayah. Hidayah to tawfiq. You know, for, for Allah to give you the success and the uh, to bless you with that actual guidance. Ihdina surat mustaqim. The straight path is the Sabila Mu'mineen. This is the path of the believers. The straight path is, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The straight path is also the path which we are commanded as brothers to embrace, to all accept the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we're, we're ordered and we're commanded not to divide. Hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not divide. The straight path, likewise, is the path that the Prophet ﷺ, when he drew three lines, The Prophet ﷺ said, he drew a line in the, in the dirt. Like this. Prophet ﷺ, he drew a lie in, line in the dirt. Okay, he said, Hadith this, have this, have this is the path of Allah, meaning that's the straight path. Had the Sarat Mustaqim. And then he, Wa Khatta Ala Yaminihi, on the right. Wa Khatta Ala Shimalihi, and then on the left. And he said, Hadhi Subul. Those are the paths. And at every head of those paths is a shaitan that calls to it. And then he recited the ayat, When the hadha sarati mustaqimi fa tabiyu wa la tabiyu subul. And then, Allah, and then the uh, Prophet ﷺ, he recited the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily, this is my straight path. So follow it and do not follow the various paths. Letting us know that the Suratullahi Mustaqim is a straight path and it's one path. It's not many paths. So we don't say that there's many ways to get to Jannah, meaning there's many different ways that contradict one another. La, there's only one way to get to paradise, and that is from adhering to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that is adhering to the straight path, and that is going in, a, in adherence to the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu also mentioned that there would be many ways and, and, and those who deviated from that path. The Prophet sallallahu said, If tarakat al-yahud ala ithu wa sab'in firqa, wa if tarakat al-nasara ala ithu natain wa sab'in firqa, wa sa taftariku hadhi umma ala thalatha wa sab'in firqa, kullaha fin nar ila wahida, kulla min hiya ya rasulullah, kala min kana ala mithli wa kana alayhi, wa sahabi al yom. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa In that hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said the Jews were breaking in 71 sects, Christians in the 72 sects, all of them in, uh, in the Muslims in the 73 sects, or my ummah in the 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. He said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon today. And so we see that the Sabil al-Mu'mineen was emphasized. We also have to understand that manners, righteous conduct, being merciful to the creation and how we deal with one another. This is part of the minhaj of the salaf. This is part of the sabil al the, the straight path. This is part of Saratullahi Mustaqim. This is the straight path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what we're commanded to in the Quran and the Sunnah to be righteous towards parents, righteous toward the creation and merciful. And what we, how we know that this is a part of that straight path that we're talking about is because the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, مَا مِنْ شَيْنَ أَثْقَلُ فِي مَيْزَانَ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَ مِنْ حُسْنُ خُلْقِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذُ الْفَاهِشَ الْبَدِيهِ There isn't a thing that weighs heavier 
on the scale of a believer than righteous conduct. And verily, the law hates wicked and sinful speech. That shows us that we need to be righteous with the creation. That shows us that our manners and our conduct is very important in Islam. And that it is one of the things that are heaviest on our scales on the day of judgment. So how is that we can exclude that from the from from what's contained in the book of Allah and what is in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam since this is the hadith of the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and since this is the madhab of the salaf. So we have to realize that all of this is a part of our straight path, our straight path to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, our seeking to draw near, to have taqwa, to fear Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, to worship Him and Him alone in, 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 in righteousness and righteous conduct, through righteousness and righteous conduct. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.